Take your game to the next level and sign up on Raise Your Edge today. It is noon on Saturday. It is day 1C of the win, $600, 250K. We fired one bullet, which we sold 50% to at face. So it's time to fire, hopefully only one more. First goal is to make dinner break. The second goal is to bag up around midnight, come back tomorrow with a healthy stack. Let's play fearless, aggressive, Let's make some good reads. Let's get this money. The Wind Casino is offering many great value tournaments this summer. They're the only casino to use the Big Blind Ante format exclusively. I highly recommend this format over the traditional Ante format. You'll get more hands per hour and it'll just be a better experience overall. Don't be confused though. The tournaments are not actually held at the Win Casino. They're at the sister property, the Encore. Connected and just as luxurious, I highly recommend you check out the tournaments at the Encore. Be plenty of seating, not much smoke, and a lot of fine eye candy, if that's your thing, walking by from the Encore Beach Club. I'll see you guys there. Twenty thousand starting stack. First break, eighteen thousand. No hands of note. No hands of any relevance. Everyone's gambling. A lot of five-way pots. And uh, yeah, just tight is right. Little ditty about Jack and Diane. Two American kids growing up in the heartland. Jackie gonna be a football star. Diane's debutante backseat of Jackie's car. With blinds at 100, 300, 300, there's a limp. I make it 1100 with pocket tens in the middle position. There's a smooth call and an Asian male on the button makes it 3,500. Action folds back to me. I have 11,500 total and we have to make a decision. The worst option here is probably calling. Being on a position with a middling pair could be tough. If we fold, I'm just tired of folding. I've been folding all day, playing very weak passive, not earning any pots, that's for sure, not bluffing, not getting the right flops or hole cards, so I think it's time to take a stand and shove all in. Caller folds and button raiser calls. He has pocket queens, the flop comes queen nine five, the turn is a deuce, and we're out of the win, 600, 250K. Luckily, this tournament is re-entry, and this is the last flight, so let's fire one more bullet. I didn't come here to give up. Let's go with a slightly different game plan this time. It's playing real, real weak passive. Just trying to hit hands, not hitting hands, just giving up on flops, no bluffing whatsoever. The tens were definitely the most out of line that I've gotten, so let's re-enter and uh, you know keep the pedal to the metal. Really go for it. Earn some pots, exercise fold equity, build a stack. Let's get it. We re-enter. We are back in. $600. 50% of all bullets have been sold to a friend. 
for the bankroll challenge, of course. Bankroll management is key. We get a fresh table and we're right in the big blind. A bowling teammate's two to my right, so this should be a good time. A player who's chirping about winning with seven deuce raises in middle position to 700. We're in the big blind with ace, four of hearts. Definitely a hand you could call with, but I'm looking to take the initiative and have a range advantage. I know many of you are not familiar with this term, and I know some people that don't even believe in this methodology, but range versus range is what No Limit Hold'em is all about. So we three bet to 2,500. He puts in the call. The flop comes queen, 10, four, one heart. Excellent board for us to barrel. So we bet 2,200. We have all the aces, kings, ace, queen, ace, king, pocket jacks, pocket queens, pocket tens, all the hands that really crush this flop. He puts in the call. The turn is an innocuous deuce. So we're gonna try to barrel him off his weak queens, ace 10 type hands, king jack, jack nine, ace jack, all these hands that might be strong enough to peel one on the flop, but not strong enough to continue on the turn. So we bet 5,200, setting up a river shove of around 10K if needed. He puts in the call. The river is the king of hearts. We do not make our flush, but we have fourth pair with an ace jack blocker, ace king blocker. We could check and give up, but he could turn over a lot of hands like queen jack, uh, king jack. He might even still be holding on with ace 10. Not many people triple barrel bluff in these spots. I guess it comes down to a simple choice, really. Get busy living, you get busy dying. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're going for it. All in for, I believe, 9,200 chips. He goes into the tank and says, this would be a horrible call. Well, we read him right. Let's hope he folds. Another minute goes by and he says, all right, here you go, and puts in the chips. We show our fourth pair, and he shows King Jack offsuit for the rivered top pair. Although you may look at this and say, oh, he had a top pair, he's got a call. In reality, the hands that I'm gonna barrel in this spot all have King Jack beat. He just happened to find the one time where I didn't have King Jack beat. Maybe I gave off some crazy live tell, or maybe he's just stubborn. Regardless, we are out of the win 600, 250K, three bullets gone, $1,800, 50% of that was sold for a net loss of $900. Time for the drive of shame. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button regardless of my results. If you like the content and qualities of these videos, let me know in the comments below. Hit the subscribe button. See you guys next time. Long after the thrill of living is gone, the walk on.